As of Craft 3, Pixel and Tonic, the developers of Craft, changed how we install the CMS. Prior to Craft 3, the default installation method was a manual process. You download a zip file, you move to a server or to your project, set up your credentials, and then run a installer via the web browser. With Craft 3, the default installation option is using Composer. Now, while that uh, old option is still available, if that's how you want to work, the Composer option offers a lot of positives, but I want to talk about what Composer is since it's new, it's new to a lot of people who haven't worked in this space before. So let's talk about what it is. Composer is a dependency manager that handles all of the software needed to run an app or project. And you can tell Composer what your project needs to run. Hey, I need it to have this library and it needs this support for this library and this library. And you tell it and it kind of builds a package and then it installs those automatically. So Composer will handle those dependencies. So what your project or your software depends on to run properly. With Craft, Composer is used for project dependencies, not global dependencies. And the most importantly is that it helps you keep your dependencies separate from your code. So that way in the Craft Git repository or in your own Git repository for your project, you are only storing your code, not other people's code, not even the Craft code base. You're not storing any of that in your repository. That's all pulled in and pulled down when you install the project on a server. So it's a nice way of working. It keeps you from cluttering up your Git repository with a bunch of stuff that isn't your code. So here's how it works in sort of a quick overview. You define your project dependencies in a composer.json file. You use a require key, which takes an object with your dependencies. And you can see that here, the composer.json file, and I have a require key and then I have some objects with like PHP greater than or equal 7.0.0. This is the one from Craft itself. So it defines all of these and makes sure that they are installed so the application runs properly. Now this is a big change if you've never used Composer before and it will take some time to get used to. However, I think it's worth the effort because it drastically reduces the complexity of managing the Craft installation. So you might be wondering if you can install Craft without Composer, and the answer is yes, you can. If you go to the installation instructions in the Craft documentation, then you can go to downloading an archive file manually. Click on that. It'll give you a link to the latest here, and then you can follow the instructions for setting up the rest of your system using the manual method. I strongly encourage you to use the composer method. It's what we'll use in this course because it is the standard way of working and I want you to learn the standard craft concepts and procedures. However, if you do need to do it the manual way, you can do it through these instructions right here.